Welcome everyone to Integrated Pest Management for Fruit Trees. I'm so glad you've come to join me for this training. Early on, I realized that I needed to understand IPM if I was going to have any control at all over the quality of the fruit that my trees were producing. And you know what? It's been a steep learning curve. But I have this funny quality. If I don't understand something, I keep going back to it again and again until I've figured it out. And once I figure it out, I realize it's actually not so hard after all. At that point, I'll find a way to communicate what I've learned to my students so that it all seems really easy. Well, that's my goal for this course today. I want to teach you that integrated pest management really isn't intimidating. In fact, it's a common sense approach to dealing with fruit tree pests and diseases. And by the time you finish this course, you will have your own integrated pest management workbook customized to the fruit trees that you grow in your unique conditions. Here are the sections that your personal IPM workbook will have. Section 1 will include a list of easy to implement non-chemical IPM tools. IPM is an integrated approach. That means it doesn't rely just on chemical sprays, but it also uses other non-chemical tools as well. You'll have a list of those tools at your fingertips for you to refer to when you're faced with a fruit tree problem or challenge. Section 2 will be made up of your pest and disease profiles. In this section, you will profile the pests and the diseases that are common in your region, and you'll include pictures. So when you inspect your trees, you'll know what to look for. Section 3 will be your IPM spray and trap schedule. In the course, I will help you develop a schedule for your organic sprays and your traps, and these will be timed according to fruit tree blossom cycles. There'll be room in this section for you to record spraying dates so you can see how your timing differs from year to year. Section 4 is the heart of your IPM workbook, where you will keep records of all the problems that you've found in your fruit trees over the years, and you'll record how you dealt with those problems. Each year you'll be able to look back and see what worked and what didn't work, so that you can adjust your strategy from there. Now, putting this all together isn't going to be hard. All you have to do is just watch some videos and do a few simple exercises, and you'll be ready to give your fruit trees some skilled, hands-on pest protection and care. Does that sound good to you? I hope so. So now it's time to get learning, and let's start with a little exploration of the history of IPM. <music>